If you're interested in attending Catholic worship, come consider the 10 o'clock a.m. Mass at St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. We're located just four blocks up from Soldiers Field Road at 43 Holton Street. You can check out our website at stanthonyalston.org. That's stanthonyalston.org. And come to the 10 o'clock Mass and experience our chanted Liturgy of the Eucharist every Sunday. Let us offer our con consecration to the Lord. Lord, we offer up to you this day, and we ask that your name be glorified in all that we do. We ask that we may know you, love you, and serve you. We ask that we may honor you. We ask that we may adore you, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Well, today is Wednesday of the seventh week of Ordinary Time. It is also the memorial of St. Rita of Kasha, and uh, it's uh, uh, we're continuing in James, James 4, 13 through 17. So we're in the next uh, part of chapter 4 from yesterday. And this is a, another powerful line. This is something that I've experienced within the uh, Latino community where if you say, if you say this is what we're going to do tomorrow, oftentimes I've heard them say, see the os lo quiere, which is the expression I talked about Monday. But um, this is in a different sense. It's whatever plans you make, yes, if the Lord wills it. And that's again, goes back to what James is talking about, living our life the way the Lord wants us to live it, not the way that we want us to live it. If you're walking down the path of I want my world my way, you're walking down the path of evil. But if you turn around and say, Lord, uh, this is what I'm looking for, but you answer the prayer in the way that's best, that's powerful. There's a great lesson that we can see in the Gospels that what people ended up praying for, the Lord answered in more ways than they expected. So one example is when uh, Martha was pray- was sending a sh- this isn't officially a prayer, but asking Jesus, she sent a message to Jesus that Lazarus was dying and she's asking him to come because Lazarus is very sick and Jesus doesn't. And she gets upset with him, but then he answers her request in ways that were beyond her imagination. And that's the way we have to realize the Lord works But if we define everything solely on our terms, then we're not going to be able to open where the Lord wants us to go. And we're going to say, I want my world my way. It's not going to work. Um, uh, St. Therese of Avila. No, I'm sorry. uh, St. Teresa of Calcutta, also known as Mother Teresa, used to say, offer your prayer, offer your plans to the Lord and watch him laugh. And that's that's true, because we have our ideas of what's important and the Lord can see where they're going and say, well, yeah, this will work. Oh, no, it won't. And, you know, either it won't work at all or this what this is what will work. And that's why it's important to be people of prayer united to Christ. There's a great line here. So today or tomorrow, it says. Um, people will say, this is, this is our plans. We're going to do this and we're going to do that. And, and St. James says, you really don't have that power. Yes, you literally can plan for tomorrow and you have to plan for tomorrow, but everything could change overnight and your prayer, your plans will go nowhere. So bring everything to the Lord and bring it to the Lord. If it's the Lord who wants these plans to happen, they will. And if the Lord doesn't want those plans to happen, neither do we. Ooh, that's an important expression. Yeah, but you know, this'll this'll do a lot of good things. Maybe, and maybe not. So that's an important thing. There are also an interesting term here, arrogance. Now, what is arrogance? Arrogance is I know, I know, and you know what? I don't care what the Lord wants me to do because I know better than him. (laughs) That's actually more haughty, but haughty and arrogance go together. It is arrogance. 
and obstinance, which is another form of it, that is the path to hell. Now, what does the church say about hell? You know, about who goes to hell? It's the people who turn around and are obstinate, obstinate in their refusal of God's grace. That's who goes to hell. They are obstinate of refusing God's grace. That's important to understand. If you and so when St. James talks about this arrogance, which is part of obstinance, uh, you can realize he's saying, no, no, that is evil. And evil is that form of evil will lead you right to the bowels of hell. That's so true because it's a form of rejecting God's grace. I know. Oh, you believe in God. Oh, well, I am far more superior to those who think like that. Oh, well, okay. You want to think like that, then go ahead. Um, And that's a reality that St. James is saying, that arrogance. Because if you're thinking like that, what are you going to create? You're going to create the world the way you want it, not the way anyone, uh, not the way the Lord wants it. And you're going to fight against the Lord to get things the way you want it. But if you trust in the Lord and humble yourself before the Lord and allow the Lord to lead you, then that's going to lead you to do what the Lord wants you to do. And maybe it isn't being a great, powerful person. Maybe it's being just someone who walks around and smiles enough that it makes someone's day, even though they don't know it. You have no idea what the Lord wants you to do. I was talking the other day on the solder joints that had to go on the space shuttle. Well, you can look at the rockets and you can look at the great power that comes out of the Saturn V rockets. Uh, and well, now they have other uh, other style, but these rockets that can push the uh, space vehicle well into space that can push, you know, the uh, satellites into space and change telecommunication and do all these great things. But none of them are worth anything, as I explained in that uh, solder course that I failed solder sucker. None of them are any good if you can't, you can't do a solder sucker. You can't work on that program. But it's something as small as a solder sucker. But the other thing is, remember, all that great power, all that means nothing if every single soldered joint isn't up to snuff to hold electronics in place. So, you know, you if we take that parable of the whole space mission and say, yeah, you want to be the rocket, but without that little piece of solder holding that small transistor that that keeps that whole circuit operating, which back then they had them, now they're IC chips, but you still use solder with IC chips, nothing would happen or great disasters would happen. Remember, I used to fix sonar systems and um, we, you know, you might have this fascinating little problem that goes wrong and it's because of one transistor or something i always love to tell the story i'll i don't know if i've told it on the radio yet but it's good to know and it's the little things i walked in and uh, there was a problem with one of our units and the chief and the other second class i was a second class petty officer were looking trying to figure out the problem and i walked right over to the unit and the unit looks like a size of a refrigerator this is back back in the 80s and you pull the unit out and you had all these circuit cards like if you owned, uh, you know, TV, they had circuit all these circuit cards. There's tons of them, They're about the size of a refrigerator. You know, the whole bunch of them. That whole operation was about the size of a refrigerator. And I looked at one of them, which was causing some kind of a problem. And I said, the problem is on card A34. And they look at me and said, How do you know? Because they're going through all the 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 schematics and they're going through everything trying to figure out where they have power and where they don't what the problem is and i go because that's the one that's smoking (laughs) which it was smoke coming off of the card obviously that's where the problem is now when they started working on this there may not have been smoke coming off the card 
<laughs> but that's what I looked at. But that whatever whatever electronic component was smoking was the one that was the problem, right? And what did I just tell you? The size of refrigerators, nothing but circuit cards, which means all those circuit cards had all these electronic components on them. Uh, and that one is the one that is the problem. And you can see, you can turn around and be that equivalent of wanting to be the rocket, the, the power, and you find, but all I am is this little um, solder joint holding a resistor in place and without you the rocket doesn't work do you understand that but we can be so much want more we want to be the great powerful we want to be this we want to be that and the lord says no i can understand that but that's not what i need i need you here and without you here all of that doesn't work whoa and you see that's important. But Lord, I have these great plans. I have this and I have that. Yeah, you do. But that's not what I need. And if you're going to seek to do my will, you're going to do what I need you to do. And if you're going to seek your plans, you're going to have a really bad time and they'll fail. But I'll tell you that right now. Just saying, the you know, I, I, it's speaking for the Lord in a sense. I'll tell you that right now. But you're not going to figure that out if you don't realize that you are in exactly the place you need to be interesting thought and anyway uh this is that message that's coming to us from saint james and it's a powerful message anyway we're going to talk more tomorrow as we always do in the meantime have yourself a blessed day and we will see you then right here on weze I want to call your attention to Catholic TV, which offers great faith-filled, family-friendly programming 24 hours a day. You can find your cable channel at www.getcatholictv.com, and you can watch online on the free apps or check out the YouTube channel. Daily Mass, Rosaries, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and the Our Lady of Perpetual Help Novena are all available online and on demand. Check out Catholic TV. Dot com. Remember, when you're looking for a place to attend Mass, and if you don't already attend Mass at your local parish, come to St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. We're located at 43 Holton Street in Alston, just a few blocks up from Soldiers Field Road. And you can check us out. Come to our 10 o'clock a.m. Mass and come to experience our Catholic worship at St. Anthony Parish in Alston, Massachusetts.